The main problem with political risk in 2016 isn't that there's a big brush fire, it's that there are 15 smaller brush fires and they all get lumped together in our analytical heads and we can't separate them. Uh, when we see what's happening with Russia and Ukraine, when we see what's happening with China and the South China Sea, when we see what ISIS is doing everywhere, it's lumped together as, oh my God, the world's on fire, out of control, what should we do? Um, what we should do is disaggregate, take a deep breath, have a coffee, sit down and separate them. Uh, some of these risks are long term and profound like China. Some are medium term like Russia's regional decay. The problem for Russia is it's declining, not that it's rising. And ISIS, uh, which uses terror to make us stop thinking. What ISIS is in reality is a very, very weak state surrounded by enemies run by economic illiterates. It's beatable. Uh, but to beat it, we have to take a deep breath. Uh, get by the incredible awfulness of the atrocities they're committing and think and think again. The final thing we need to do is the problem isn't the brush fires, it's that we don't have any firemen to put out the brush fires. That's probably the biggest single risk. The West as an entity has ceased to exist. The Europeans and the Americans are barely working together. Europe is entirely preoccupied with its own problems, drifting toward almost isolationism, and the United States under President Obama has done less and less. As a result, without firemen, fires seem a lot worse. In essence, we in the West are the political risk. If we have firemen, all this is maintainable, and if we don't, they will rage out of control. Frankly, it's up to us.